The Saint-Nazaire shipyard on the coast of Brittany is France's biggest and the only one capable of building an aircraft carrier. Not only a vital strategic asset, but one that provides more than 7,000 jobs. The shipyard was put up for sale after its main shareholder, the South Korean company STX, collapsed last year. Only two weeks into his presidency, Emmanuel Macron personally promised the workforce he would preserve their jobs and stop control falling into foreign hands. Except those foreign hands have now turned out to be Italian, the highly successful and competitive Fincantieri shipbuilders. Macron nationalized the French yard to block the deal. Italians remain furious. The fact is that uh, no one wants to uh, renounce to its uh, own uh, industry. So now the idea is who is going to make the sacrifices. The workforce coming off shift in San Nazaire believe their president is using exactly the right tactics. What's important for me is to keep French know-how and French patents in France to avoid losing jobs in France. As soon as French patents leave the country, it will be the end of the work at the STX shipyard. Nationalization is a good thing for the workers here. They could get civil servant status, they would get benefits. Nationalization is not a bad thing for them. The values of the European Union were at the heart of Macron's presidential campaign. Now the Italians are accusing him of a blatant form of economic nationalism. But with his popularity ratings already dipping, he simply cannot afford to see French jobs being exported abroad. The French economy minister went to Rome to try and sell the idea of a 50-50 split in control of the shipyard. His Italian counterpart wasn't buying it. It is not possible to accept a 50-50 distribution and on this point we will not change our minds. Nazi Germany built a U-boat base in Saint-Nazaire during the Second World War. The shipyard's value to France is widely recognized. But if Italy doesn't compromise, the search widens in the coming weeks for a country that will. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Saint-Nazaire.